This week, Pilot Flying J added one station, Tesla added three stations, ChargePoint added 16. It's important to note that ChargePoint records every dispenser as a station. It's kind of a quirk in the data. EVgo added two stations, EV Connect added 13, the Rivian Adventure Network added one, and these are all fast chargers, DC fast chargers. Uh, there were 212 installed in Canada and the United States. Let's get into the data. First one is Pilot Flying J. They added one station. Cato Mills, Texas. This one has kind of been around for a while and they finally commissioned it. Next one is Tesla. They added three stations. Oops. Yeah, so 128 stall station in Covington, Georgia at a quick trip, and then two 12 stall stations in New Hampshire and Lawrence, what is that, Massachusetts or Maine? I always get those two mixed up. Next one is ChargePoint. They added 16, which is actually a slowdown for them. Normally they do about 30 per week. Nothing much really to call out here. It's just municipalities and car dealerships, mostly. Uh, what we're looking for here are additional Mercedes-Benz charging hub locations, which I do not see, or also Loves, which has said to be using uh, charge point equipment for their main build. No indication. Next one is EVgo. Two new stations, one a 10-stall station, which is very large for EVgo, and a 8-stall station, which is also on the high end for EVgo. Both of them are in California. Next one is EV Connect. Thirteen, <clears throat> almost matching charge point. Similarly, the though, uh, just car dealerships. And if you notice, the car dealership brands all seem to fall under the General Motors um, company name. So there's GM, there's uh, Cadillac, there's GMC, um, Chevrolet. There's a couple of Fords, but it seems as though EV Connect has done a, some kind of partnership with General Motors. Maybe Ford as well, because there's quite a few Fords. Next one is the Rivian Adventure Network. They added one station. I think it's in Louisiana. Let's see. Yeah, Slidell, Louisiana, a six stall, which is on the small side for them. And there's one honorable mention. Uh, BP Pulse has been picking up steam. There was some news about them taking over some of the leases for the Tesla supercharger that they haven't built because they were in a uh, pause after the dismissal of most of the staff. And uh, so I checked. This is a Giga Hub in Texas outside of their headquarters in uh, Houston. And since then, they've been doing a pretty good job of adding stations. Uh, if you look, there was uh, two additional ones in the month of April, and then two additional ones in the month of Cal uh, in the uh, month of May, uh, both in California. And this install date must must have been recently updated because it used to say 15. Um, so anyway, um, the point being is that they are they seem to be not just giving lip service through their intentions to expand, but they're actually installing. Uh, stations. So 124, 26, 14, and 12. Mostly out west. Thanks for watching.